Good evening. Got a quick um, little update for you all on tonight. We want to start off by saying congratulations to our Champaign-Urbana um, um, School Foundation Man Hankel Award winner. Um, congratulations to Stratton Academy special education teacher Melissa Luffman. She was surprised with the Man Hankel Teaching Excellence Award from Champaign-Urbana School Foundation. Um, I believe it was the last day of school of attendance for students, and so it was, she was pretty excited and surprised, and so it was a, a wonderful opportunity to say thank you for all of your hard work. So let's give it up for um, Melissa. We also want to give a shout out to Mariah Ward, special education teacher at Central High School, named one of our News Gazette Teachers of the Week. Way to go, Mariah. Also, congratulations to Alex Gordon, physics teacher at Central High School, News Gazette Teacher of the Week. Way to go, Alex. At this time, we want to say that June is Pride Month, and our district is committed to challenging social, societal norms and promoting social justice. We honor and value our students, our colleagues. We see you, we hear you, and we stand with you. And we do have little buttons that says, um, you're safe with me. We got all kinds of different things that we've been passing out for, our, for, um, for staff to know and students to know that you can, you're safe. And so we wanna celebrate all of our staff, students, and families. Um, and this is Pride Month. Also, um, just a quick reminder that we're pleased to offer summer meals to children. All meals, breakfast and lunch are available to children who are 18 years or younger. They do not have to be a Unifor student to access the meals. Um, however, the meals must be consumed um, on site and cannot be taken out of the school building. So please check our website or our social media for location, dates and times. We will have this posted on our website. Um, and so we will, you, you can, you know, all the sites will be closed though on June 19th and on July 4th for the holidays, for Juneteenth and for the 4th of July. But other than that, um, we have this information here for you. Um, we also want to say with that, we is your last chance for re returning students to register um, available this week. 75% um, of our returning students are registered. We're grateful for those who have registered their children, but we need every student registered. So we hope that you will meet our team at one of the last chance registration opportunities this week to be held in conjunction with the summer meals program. So have a meal and register your child at the same time. Or register your child, have a meal, or have a meal, then register your child. We just want you there to have enjoy the meal and get your child registered. So we have June 11th, 12th, and 13th at all of our um, summer food feeding sites. Um, reminder also that we are on our summer hours. So June 10th through July 19th, um, Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 4.30 p.m., uh, schools will be open on Fridays, uh, appointment only. Um, and this is an opportunity for um, our families to pop in and do things that need to get done, but also gives our schools an opportunity to get some things done that they need to take care of as well. Um, so from Ju June, 19 June 10th through Friday, July 19th, the hours operation for the Center for Family and Community Center Engagement Center, which is right here, Mellon and um, Windsor, will be 7.30 to 4.30 Monday through Friday, but the hours that are posted here are for our school campuses, 7.30 to 4.30 Monday through Thursday um, during the summer. So just want to let everyone know that. Um, we also want to remind everyone that, oh, don't start. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're hiring. <laughs> other way, other way, go the other way. Go the other way. Please. Okay, well, we're hiring. Um, we have new teacher sign-on bonuses, um, and we also have our bus driver um, sign-on bonuses. Um, and so we're working with other of our um, areas that need, yes. So right now, this is what we have going on, and we're still looking and having conversations about adding additional areas, but these were our high priority at the time of the 
of this bonus. And so, Mr. Kleber, did you have anything you wanted to add to that? So there are a number of positions online. If you're interested in working two hours a day or only on Mondays, like we'd be happy to have you as a substitute. Um, otherwise, if you're looking for a, a daily schedule, um, we have positions from two hours a day, well up to beyond full time. Um, and so there's a variety of different positions. We also have a bunch of summer school positions uh, online currently, um, but most of them are for the coming school year. Yep, and we have billboards um, all over. We have some billboards that are static, and we have some that are scrolling um, to say we're trying to hire. And yes, we have them in various places across the state of Illinois um, to come to Champaign. So I'm really excited about our push to, to increase our, our staff. And the last thing I have for you is just a quick rundown celebration from the 2023-24 school year. So go ahead and start it, please, IT. Dr. Sheila Boozer, proud superintendent of Unit 4 Schools. As we close out the 2023-24 school year, I want to highlight some of the amazing accomplishments by our students and staff. We began the school year focused on the theme, Mission Possible, Destination Excellence. Our educators and students have embraced the spirit of excellence while accomplishing the mission at hand. You can see this through the many awards, accolades, scholarships, promotions, and graduations. Our vision is to empower each learner in a diverse and changing world. I am thankful for all of our staff for staying focused on the vision and the mission of positively transforming learning and life outcomes for our more than 10,000 students. While we have made impactful achievements, there is more important work to be done. I always say that education is hard work, but it is also heart work. One of my favorite quotes is from the late, great Maya Angelou. We delight in the butterfly, but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve beauty. We remain committed to staying focused on our students, dedicated to our employees, committed to equity and educational justice, welcoming to our families and the community, and devoted to providing safe and dynamic learning environments for our students and staff. I hope that everyone enjoys the summer break and returns refreshed and ready to continue the journey for the 2024-2025 school year. And always, thank you for making it a great day in Unit 4. emotional when I see it because of all the hard work we've gone through. It has been a turbulent year, but I tell you what, it was worth it to see all the great things we have going on and we couldn't capture everything, but I publicly want to say to my staff and to the families and to the students, thank you for hanging there with us. Because of you, this is possible and I'm so grateful and I yet am still the proud superintendent of Unifor School District and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for each and every one of you, so thank you.